Hey everyone, Fritz here. Is it weird that it rains when it's sunny? Or is it even more weird that people don't rotate their tires when the rain comes? Well, I know that you're not one of those people because you're watching this video and we're gonna take advantage of the rain stopping for a quick second to rotate those tires. Let's go. wondering how often should you rotate your tires, I would say every six to 8,000 miles, depending on the road conditions and the way that you drive. And then you should check the tire pressure in your car about half that time. Now the first thing that we need to do when rotating the tires in the car, before we loosen any of these bolts, before we lift up the car, is we have to identify what kind of rims do we have. Do we have a regular car, which has a typically square setup, meaning that the rims are all the same size, or do we have a staggered setup? typically found in BMWs and other sports cars where the wheels in the back are a little bit wider than the wheels in the front. And just by hearing that, you can probably guess that we can't equally rotate all the tires when it comes to a staggered setup. But if for some reason your BMW has a square setup, you're going to bring the wheels in the back to the front, but cross them. And then the wheels in the front, you're going to shoot straight back. And if that was a little confusing for you, I've prepared a small diagram right here to help you identify where the wheel is originally and then where it will be once it's rotated. But unfortunately, for most of us BMW owners, we can only rotate the front tires with the fronts and the rears with the rears. So it's very simple. You go from left to right and right to left. On the two series here, we have 17 millimeter bolts. And the way that we're gonna start this off is by loosening all of the bolts on all of the wheels first. We're not gonna take out the bolt, we're just going to loosen it before we jack up the car. Now you might be wondering, Fritz, what is that little black thing that you put on each of the tires for one of the bolts? That's actually a key for the lock nut. And it's actually very specific for BMW. It's an OEM one. If you want one, I'm gonna put a link down in the description. Now that we have all the bolts loosened up, we're going to jack up the car. And if you don't know where the center jacking point is of your car, I'm going to leave a video link right here for you to watch as I jack up this car. Now, since we're not working directly underneath the car, I feel no need to put in jack stands. We're just gonna tighten down the jack and make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And we don't need the car up that high, just enough to have some clearance so that we can easily put on the wheel. And this is the exact reason why we wanted to loosen the bolts on the car. Because if it didn't, we would just spin the wheel in circles as we try to loosen the bolts. Take off the tire and roll it over to the other side. Then do the same on the other side. Since we're here, we might as well put in the tire that we just brought over. And you can see that there's a lot of good tread still left on this tire. Now this is the time that you might be wishing that BMW had wheel studs instead of lug bolts. A good way to get around that problem is to use this wheel pin here. Just go ahead and then screw it into any one of the openings that you have here in order to properly line up the wheel. But what we really wanna do is to make sure that this center portion, this wheel hub right here, is attached to the rim. Using our wheel pin to line up the rim to sit properly on the car is what we're going for when we're putting in our bolts. Now that we're on the last one, remove the wheel pin, but it's a little tight in here. So let's go over to the other side and I'll show you how we're supposed to tighten it. Let's first put in our wheel pin, bring in the tire, make sure it lines up, put it on the hub. Now, if we're looking at our wheel pin, if this is the first pin that we put in, the way that we tighten everything down is from across the first pin, tighten that one down, going across from that one, then across from that one, then you guessed it, across from that one. Now, what you don't wanna do is tighten down to torque spec on the first one. Go across, go to torque spec, then go across, torque spec, torque spec, torque spec. You don't wanna do that. You wanna walk in the wheel, that way it sits evenly. So what I mean by that is go finger tight, not even hand tight, just finger tight on all of the bolts. Then once all the bolts are in, you can use the wrench to go a little bit tighter. You can already see the wheel moving. We don't wanna go too much tighter than that. Now 
Now with the wheel snugly in place, we can bring down the car. And now we can bring in our torque wrench and tighten it down to about 105 foot pounds. Now it's time to do the rear of the car. Take the wheel off. Same thing on the driver's side. This wheel was a little stuck, but no problem. Pull it off. Using our pin, line it up so everything fits. And remember that order that we talked about. So from here, we go across and we're going in very lightly, it's finger tight. Go across that one, across from that one, and then across from that one. Take out the wheel hanger. Last tire. Remember, wheel hanger, tire. Star pattern starting from the wheel hanger. Across, across, across. Last one across before taking out the wheel hanger and putting in the wheel lock. Now we can bring in the wrench, go a little tighter than that. Now, lower down the car. And torque it down to 105 foot pounds. Doing the same on the last side. All right, so we put in the last tire, but we're not done yet. And you might be wondering, what do I mean? There's only four tires, we've rotated them all. The last thing we need to do is do an air check. On the two series, the front tire is a 33 PSI, while the rears are a 38. And if you're unfamiliar on where to check the tire pressure on the car, just go ahead and check the inside of the driver's side door seal. And yes, I know that BMW has a TPMS, the Tire Pressure Management System, where the car will check the tire pressures for you as you're driving. But by that time, it's too late. You should know what the tire pressure is when the car is standing still. So if you can, just get a pressure gauge, put it into the tire, check it. If the air pressure is off, add more. If it's too much, leak a little bit out because by the time the car is rolling, it's too late to fill up more air. So I really don't know why BMW made it so complicated when it comes to checking the tire pressures of your car. I don't know why they couldn't just say, hey, this is what the tire pressure is currently in the car and we'll update you as you move along. Because once you get going, you're not gonna carry the air compressor with you. And even then you need a plug to have it work. So as soon as you've checked all the tire pressures, made sure that the air is up to where it needs to be, now you're all done. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'm gonna leave all the tools that I use for this video in the description down below. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video.